We're about to walk down this hallway. Let's see what we got. Let's take a look at this uh, stuff on our left. Oh, there he is, Colonel Mustard. Masks Alpine Refuge. Pretty amazing, I'd say. Yo, he's always got a glass of something with him. He's just chilling. What do you know about these riddles? Tell me about your riddle, bro. I remember once, after months in the trenches, when I got an order to withdraw. Thousands dead, and we'd just leave. No reason, no explanation, but I knew there was a mystery, some dark secret behind our leaving. Same with Sir Black's riddles. He hid those jewels here, and it was important. But as to why, I haven't the foggiest. All right, dude. Whatever. Ever been to New York? Amazing city, filled with great wealth and those who crave it. Hmm. Some people would do anything to get it. I attended a gala at the plaza where I heard people buzzing about this woman whose husband mysteriously died. Yeah. It should have made her wealthy, but funny thing. His will was so specific, so uncharitable. The woman, Mrs. Peacock, got <laughs> nothing. <laughs> he hates that. I he hates her. If she came here seeking a new husband. Dang, he's dead. Mask is dead, bro. Let me help you figure out your riddle and find your stone, homie. The funny thing is, I didn't get a riddle. Sir Alexander Black gave me a, what do you call it, a, a rebus. Said I might work out the riddle and that would be dangerous. What? I don't have it with me, but I could describe it to someone who could draw. Well, okay, you talk to the guy who's been completely useless this entire time. No, I don't know you don't know about anything that. about his tattoos, Jang? Alright, what about... What about Ms. White's dream? I don't know anything about that. You know what? I don't even need to ask anybody else that question. I already got that answer from... From, uh... Whatever his name is. Or, uh... Dr. Julia Kell. Alright, we're about to go in. This is like the dungeon. Dang. Professor Plum's just chilling. Just chilling. Talk to me, bro. Well, we got up the mountain, okay? Now, I wonder how many of us will get down. Ha, uh, you're creepy, bro. Are you hiding something? What are you suggesting? Seems to me we all know nothing about you. As far as I know, you killed Mars. Ha <laughs> ha! This guy's this guy's a straight up philosopher, though. He's always turning those turning those uh, ideas back on you. Well, Green isn't keeping any secrets. Oh, for real? Green is keeping all the secrets, bro. He's been walking around, stalk stalking people, creeping up on me. Jeez, nah. I'll be glad of that. But the thing is, something. Maybe time has made me forget the riddle. It's all blocked in my mind. Dude, d so nobody has remembered their riddle at all. I don't know anything about that. Nobody? At all? None? Okay. Sorry, I have no answer for you. You know what? I'm gonna leave you alone. You guys are annoying. Alright, I got a line over here just hanging up. Nice stuff. Alright, let's get out of here. I got nothing. Uh, I guess we have to go back to Miss White and tell her what her dream means because I got that from Professor Kell. Oh, I forgot to ask Miss Peacock about her dream. I don't even want to do that. Jeez. Do this. 
You know what? Might as well. We're right in front of the room with Miss Peacock in it. Do we have to give the people their gems or what? Like, what's up? I heard your, ha, I know of your difficulties in New York. Listen, that story is all lies. You do believe me, yes? And those lies are being spread by green, I bet. Tell you what, if I can trust you to be discreet. Oh, dang, yeah, I'll let's go. Tell you my riddle, though what it means is beyond me. All right. Start on the left, where the upstairs go down. All right. Follow them to the dark hole that spirals around. Okay. Guide the black stone through an impossible hall until you possess the shining ball. That's creepy, but whatever. Aren't you nosy? All right, that's fine. Start on the left. Where the upstairs Start on the left, where down. the upstairs go down. Follow them to the dark left. hole that spirals around. Okay. Guide the black stone through an impossible hall until you possess the shining hall. Alright. I'll keep it in mind. He's got a tattoo of a cobra, bro. I don't know anything about <laughs> that. Nobody cares about the cobra. What are you talking about? All right, I'm going to stop by Mr. Green and see if I had to give him his jewel back. Like, maybe I'm supposed to do that. I got your gem, bro. Ooh. Nah. Wish I could help you there, but I can't. Nope. Okay. What about Miss White's dream? Wish I could help you there, but I can't. All right, I see you. I'm not even gonna give you your gem back. I got it, but I'm not gonna give it to you. Look, it's right here. It's all shiny and stuff. No, thank you. All right, well, I guess I could talk to Zabata about um, Professor. Oh, never mind. We're going to talk to Miss White. That's creepy. Hey, what's up, Grandma? I got your dream. Oh, shoot. Here's what your dream means. The red hallway represents your future. That's why it's a hallway with no doors. The red color can mean di pain, death, or murder. And the snakes are keeping you, or people keeping you from moving. And the animal means something deadly from the past. What you got to say about that? Yes, I see that. The red hallway must mean murder. And more murder ahead. The snakes must be all these people here. But what is coming from my past? Maybe it's that horrible riddle. Maybe you should help me. Uh, yeah. It is inside a room. Inside a drawer, the death head waits, hungry for more. Its teeth glisten, a silvery hue. The one uh. that opens last is the one for you. Dang, you gotta chill out for a second, though. Like, I, I know you're freaked out, but, like, just recite the poem. You ain't gotta be all theatrical and stuff. Like, chill. Chill, girl, chill. Let's try and talk to Zabata about uh, this Colonel Mustard's dream. A picture? What? I gotta uh, do another. Show me another trick. Trick for you? Entertain the artist. Oh. By throwing a coin to a monkey. Now I gotta go talk to, uh, what's his name? Weirdo with the handlebar mustache. All right. All right, let's go talk. Let me 
gonna turn right here. Oh, come on now. I was headed to the right. What the heck? I'm not even gonna mess with that right now. No, thank you. I'm trying to get to one place. No, come here. Oh, dang. Bro. Dang, this looks like a torture chamber, homie. Oh, shoot. What? What? I'm gonna go... Whatever. What? Oh, man. Okay, well... I know what... Okay, so this is probably what Miss Peacock was talking about. Because this is a spiral right here. You got the... You got the hallway over here. You got the left. Start on the left. Um... I don't know how I'm supposed to do this, but it's all right. It's all right. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm actually going to step away from this table if we could for a minute. If we could just step back, step away, maybe. No. Uh, all right. Well, that's where I'll cut this one. I guess I'll start the next one with this marble game and figure out if I can do it. Um, stay tuned for the next episode. Until then, I'm out.